second. everyone oh I did some very minimal <laughs> like popping into everything right now I did some very minimal makeup today because I just came from the mall and maybe I should put this here yeah that might be better because even though you can see all my curtains I don't bump it as much if it's not on the table um, but yeah, I went to the mall to get the kids some haircuts and I got some seeds candy stuff. This is for my father-in-law. Truffles for Father's Day. Then I got a couple for me. We got some samples. I got some peppermint patties for my husband, I think. I don't know. I'm going to ask him if he wants truffles or peppermint patties. And I got some for me. <laughs> Actually, not right now. We got some samples too and then I got some for my dad for Father's Day. So, um, yeah, and then we got her guts. I did not get anything at Lush because I still have a ton from my Bath Baby boxes that I got. And um, Sue, we're doing a swap with Sue and she's sending me some things. So, um, yeah. I decided like I had way too much. Oh, I don't have earrings. Let me, oh, let's do something together. I'm gonna show you how I display my earrings and we can choose something together. <laughs> um, I'm probably taking towards these ones that Noel sent me. I think they look cute, no? Hi, Priscilla, how are you? Oh, maybe I'll wear these. These ones from Tree Line Time. Hi, Risa. How are you? Thanks for coming. Today is going to be a very casual day. I'm going to open a couple boxes. Uh, so if you guys want to stick around and then I have a huge box uh, to do a giveaway. Oh, we have seven people. Yay. People are coming, coming. Hi, liberty and justice for all. Oh, is this your first time? Let me know what your name is. So, oh, yeah, I didn't message that many people Priscilla because I was like, it's coming, it's getting time. I just got here from the mall. It kind of like fixed my hair a little bit, a little makeup. Uh, barely covered my face. I put some powder makeup. As you can see, it's like not that good, but. Penny, hi. Hi, oh, I love the name Penny. And I'm drinking some Topo Chico. It's a hard seltzer that it's basically spiked sparkling water and it has um, zero fat, two grams of carbs and two grams of sugar. So I think it's good for keto, but it has no fiber, but it's, you know, it's one of the ones that doesn't have, that's not bad. So I'm drinking one of these and this is tropical mango. Hi, Anidra. Oh, she does. I actually bought them yesterday I saw, I follow this girl, Ashley, she, uh, her channel is O Crow Gal, and she does keto, so she's doing videos, she does like grocery, you know, like grocery hauls, and hi Mary, and stuff like that, so um, she was, the, she was uh, showing that, and I was like, ooh, something that has a little alcohol, but it's, you know, I don't even know, I'm so confused, you guys, my keto thing is failing, and I think I just have to do what my mom did like the restricted keto diet and do that and stick to that because it's easier like i feel like there's a lot of items hi jesse a lot of stuff that they say like oh keto this keto that and you're like but then you look at the carbs and you're like it's keto but it's not free you know hi kelly so it's so confusing so i don't know uh because my ears look really big how's everyone i'm hot i have my fan on because oh my gosh you guys I don't know what I'm gonna do in the summer when I do have to film videos because that's when the time comes where I'm like melting and you can see in the video sometimes how like you know my hair starts sticking to my face like my lips start sweating and I'm like maybe I should just take a summer break <laughs> and not do videos 
Hi, Angel. So, yeah. I don't know. We'll see. I've been thinking about actually doing less videos, and I know you guys know this. Um, just because, you know. But, um, yeah. It is what it is. I do like my lives, though. I was telling my husband, we ended up not going to the dentist, and, um, and I said, well, okay, but then I'm going to do my life then, because I miss it, and then it's going to be another week, and yeah, and I'm going to miss it too much, so, yeah, how's everyone doing? Uh, we had hugs, um, hugs on mugs or something, hugs on mugs, it, the guest, and I told her, um, oh, you like it? It's not from Brussels, I think it's from here, but they um they do uh feature uh, like they do a destination every time and i think they the only item from brussels i think was the chocolate which is really good i think so i'm not sure i think so i forgot to ask her but the um, the scarf was like like really nice like a 45 dollar value or something so let me uh text my family I'm gonna open today the box by Fashion Style. I have MUA Glam box. Oh, yeah, my arm was hurting a little bit. Um, I went to the mall kind of to distract myself too. I uh, got the kids some haircuts and um, no, yeah, I don't know if they're not all from there. I think I could ask her and let you guys know. But it did have some cool items, kind of like go for it, Priscilla. Uh, kind of like travel theme, like a lint roller. And then there was like a travel case of brushes makeup brushes so it was pretty cool they had like some travel sized i don't think i have it here let me see because i was like cleaning up and it has some items um it had some like hard shaped soap that you throw in your hand it's kind of like confetti and then you like you know you wash it your hands with it so it was pretty cool um and it was really nicely packed and everything hi vicky um so yeah um yeah anyway like we got haircuts uh two of the three of my kids got haircuts and and then i bought him a toy i'm just spending so much money because they have toys at the hair salon you know like and hey vicky i'm glad oh my gosh i'm so glad welcome and um and then we walked around the mall and lush was all uh stocked up again but i didn't even go inside when you're going closer to Lush, the whole mall smells delicious. It's like, even if you're upstairs, like in the upper level, that you can smell that you're uh, over Lush. But I have a ton of stuff and, I, you know, I don't have that much space, so I shouldn't even be spending money on things that I, you know. <laughs> but anyway, uh, but yeah, I still have a lot of bath bombs and stuff like that, so. Um... Oh, hi, Sandra. I just got the uh, the box today. Uh, it was funny. I was like, oh, should I open it in the live? And I'm like, no, it's okay. Let's do like a dedicated video. Um, but <laughs> it was funny. I was like, I just got it. And I was thinking about you guys. So, yeah, well, let's wait a little bit longer. And I have a huge box to give out. It's open, actually. It was closed. So if it, since it's open, I'll show you some of the things. It's huge. It's like a middle. This this middle uh, flat ray boxes, medium flat ray boxes. The ones that are vertical are the best because you can put so much stuff. Oh, oh, this one didn't have long lines, but they were not stuck for a long time. I wonder if they're still doing where you are. They're maybe just limiting how many people, but our malls are still not very crowded. There, were, there was more people today and almost no one was wearing a mask. So I think people are just getting like, maybe everyone got vaccinated and they feel like, but I don't think anyone is enforcing it, you know? So one of the items I'm giving away is this gorgeous bracelet from Go Jewelry. And I think Rina and I don't know if Jesse also opened this, but it's beautiful. This is amethyst and I think rose quartz. Super pretty and I'm gonna put it in the little box. There's a ton of stuff. So I'm just gonna go through some things because I'm like, <laughs> Oh, this got a little squished. The Glam Glow Super Cleanse. Hi, Michael. Hi, Monica. Um, yes, it's live, uh, Monica, yes. 
Then we have by Restore Hyaluronic Acid Hydration Boost Anti um, Serum, Anti Aging Serum. And then by Pharmacy, a toner. And um, these, they came in BoxyCharm or one of those. Then one of, uh, obviously I had to give you this, so put all your skincare. Let's see, I have a massage oil, central massage oil, okay. <laughs> oh, I'm putting the strip poker on this box. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna play with my husband yet, so it's okay. By the time when we can, we'll we'll get one. Then I have a lip mask by Estiology. I think this one came also in Box Charm or Ipsy. And oh, this came in. This came in either Costbox or Fat Fit Fun. Is another toner? No, is this a toner? Yeah. Oh, sorry. I have two toners in here. Uh, Skin and Co. Roma. Hi Sylvia. If I'm missing anyone, please don't. I might miss the chat. Then we have a cute little tin with uh, sticky notes, and I put it all in this baggy, kind of like drawstring backpack. And there's more. Wait for it. Wait for it. Okay. Let me put everything back here. Hope I'm not missing anyone. If I didn't say hi while I was showing things, let me put everything here. And, and if anything fits from uh, the boxes that I'm gonna open today, I might throw it in here as well. Um, okay, let me have more things. What's this? Oh, this is a water bottle with a neoprene uh, sleeve. Really nice, but I have so many and I try not to use the glass ones because, hi, Laura, they're a disaster waiting to happen, you know, with my kids, I already, I already went through that. I have three bath soaks. One is lavender rose, geranium rose, and chamomile lavender. And another another bath soak from Unplugged Book Box. One of these cute baggies. And here's a little pencil pouch. Hi, Ms. Serena. Serena? Uh, a Ren toner. Maybe I'll take it out. I don't know. You get, when I, I'll talk to the winner. We have a little face mask, a little honey powder uh, pocket. If you don't want that many toners, you know, uh, let me know. <laughs> because I just start putting things. Then we have this stone, the tiger, tiger stone. Another pencil pouch from Unplugged Book Box. Got some lashes from Eye Beauty Box, a lotion bar, sunscreen lotion bar. Hi, Nancy, from Unplugged. And we have some face masks, a foot mask, and a notepad. Had to make stuff. I don't know where. Hi, Sue. I don't know where I'm going to put this. Uh, this is a super cute, but I end up not using it. But it's, it came in a desk stash. You can put your pencil there. It's like a notepad that is, you know, kind of like imitating the brillo soap pads, a bookmark. Also, when the, whoever the winner is, I'll ask if I have any space here. If you like books, then I'll, I can put some books. Heat wave, oh, really? We, we're in June gloom, like here in Southern California, I don't know if everywhere, but we get that June gloom that is like a pain in the butt. So every morning is like almost always super cloudy. And it's a little humid, but it hasn't been bad today. But there hasn't been that much sun. I was trying to take some pictures yesterday and the sun didn't come out until like four. Then, oh, I put some uh, shampoo and conditioner. So, yeah. Hi, Noel. Who am I missing? Noel, no one else? I hope, okay. So I'm gonna put this back in there. And then whoever wins, if you guys, if you read, I can show you what books I have and I can add some books to it as well. Um, so yeah, that is everything that fits in here. <laughs> Thank you. I know, I'm trying like, in the bottle, I, water bottle was like the last thing I added. And I was like, no, it has to go in the middle. So but yeah, I try to add um, as much as I can, you know what I think I'm not gonna use. I even go sometimes through the stash that I think I'm gonna keep, and then I even like go through that as well, because um, I, I, you know, I don't want it to. I don't want things to expire, or you know, like if I know, like okay, I have like five moisturizers, and some, you know, I'm gonna share some because it's too many, it's too much. And well, thank you. And then, yeah. hi, baby.
Amy want a giveaway today? I'll show you guys. This is MUA Glam Box. It's a bi monthly um, subscription. It is, I think, $34.99 or something around those. And it is curated by a black lady. And But it's for everyone. It could be for everyone. Um, but it's woman owned, small business, black owned. And this one was kind of different because it's usually makeup and skincare. But this one, she said, I know you like to get a lot of makeup, but I did something different this time. And I actually really liked it. Um, okay, so Amy is Michael Weber, or not? Okay, so one of the items we got is oh, I add this to the giveaway today. Is a Juvia's the various because I already have this, so this is a palette by Juvia. Oh, okay, <laughs> and it's super cute. What I love about Juvia is they have really beautiful colors and they're very pigmented and they're super nice. Yeah. So this one is going in tonight's giveaway too, guys. So, so I already have one like this. And I think I, I dressed up with someone and she sent me two of those. So I'll put it back. And then she included a candle this time. Maybe I'll add it if it fits. And this is Red Grunt. And it smells really good. It's like a, a spicy scent, but sweet. I think they did a really yummy... Yeah, and it's by Simply Scents Candle Company. It's in a mason jar. And I think it's just maybe like six ounces, I'm thinking. It's super yummy. Yeah, it's actually, when I read it, I was like, Red Grand, how is it going to smell? But it smells good because I think they added, you know, they might have added some scent, like, I don't know, sweet scent. I'm sorry if I'm sweating, but it's hot. And then she included a some wipes for down there, which I first I thought they were makeup remover wipes. And then when I started reading, it says, Sweet Spot Lab Vanilla Blossom On The Go Wipes. And it says pH balancing, glycerin, alcohol free, gynecologist tested. And I'm like, oh, okay. Um, so that's nice. You know, it's like a little different than makeup and skincare, but I think it's still something that, especially in the summer, maybe you want to have um, in your purse, you know, to freshen up. Uh, so yeah. That's, that's always good. Then we have by Gerard Cosmetics. Gerard Cosmetics. I'm also adding this to the giveaway because I don't I don't use um, lip gloss, but this is a really pretty color and it has a little mirror. And when you open it up, I don't know how you're supposed to turn it on, but I was clicking here and you get, wait a second. It's not working now. You have a lights, but I don't know why it's not working. It was working. There you go. Oh. There. I don't know how it works, but you can, I guess, maybe book. I was testing it yesterday, but I don't know if you're supposed to, like, hold it, or maybe you can press. I'll ask her. But there's supposed to be a flashlight, too, so you can look at yourself while you put your lip gloss. So I'll put this in a giveaway, too. Uh, I feel like this pink is super cute for summer too, so. And then we got two eyeliners, two pencil eyeliners. One is, and this is Makeup Geek. I don't think I've ever tried this brand. I know they are, are they in Sephora or something like that? Makeup Geek, and we have a black eyeliner and a blue eyeliner. So I think I might include for you guys the blue one. Did I put the right? Yeah. So I'm not gonna swatch them, but I'll add. <laughs> Why? Because of the mirror? I, I just don't know if I can figure out the, the light, but yeah, but really cute though. And two eyeliners, which I think, I don't know, um, the blue ones, I, I usually wear the pencil eyeliner under my thing, which I, I don't have today. So blue might be for like the over, you know, maybe, I don't know, but super cool items. I think this box was good. Uh, we have a makeup palette and I'm gonna put it in the giveaway the lip gloss and then we have the liners and let me find the one that is blue we have a candle and the wipes so they were i think it was it was nice to get a candle kind of like a lifestyle item and then you know the wipes is something very practical you know so that was everything in the mua glam box and i do have a code for them but i can't remember so bye
I don't know. It's in my post. Did I post? No. I'll check and I'll put it. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Maybe Lucia 10 or something. I usually, I should ask, every, I should ask all the, um, the people I work with, like to switch me to Lucia 10. So I know in this, I know it's always because Some people are like, oh, your code is laugh 10. I'm going to put the candle too, because I didn't put any candle in this giveaway. Glambox 10. Hey, thank you, Nidra. <laughs> Glambox 10. <laughs> there you go. So, um, so yeah, because sometimes I'm like, I don't know what, I don't know what, you know, my code. It's always like laughing 10. It's always like, you know, gosh. Okay, thank you. Because <laughs> I'm like, ah. Uh, and I do have like a master list that I have to keep updating it. Sometimes I forget to update it. Uh, but, I, you know, like I go, I can go to the master list. But when I'm like filming, sometimes I don't always have it on hand. So I'm going to open this box. I got the box by Fashion Star. But. Um, and thank you for sending it to me, Anidra. Uh, it's a beautiful box. So, and I love also how it looks on the outside. It's a pink box. Ah. Laughing 10. Perfect. Thank you. So, if you guys want to check it out, uh, it's bi monthly, which is a great thing because then you don't get you know a ton of stuff. You get uh, makeup, skincare, a little bit of everything. And it's not overwhelming. You know, you don't get a ton of mono products that you don't use. So, yeah. Okay, this is the box we have, and it's beautiful. Is this month? It's called MUA Glam Box. MUA Glam Box. So, and we have the owner here. Thank you. I told her I'm gonna open the box. So come join us. Um, so if you have any questions, feel free to ask. And okay, let's see what we got in the um, box. I also got, what did I get? Today I got in the mail, I have a couple of new ones too. Maybe we'll open them later, but I don't know. Sometimes I'm like, I wanna keep the, yes, those wipes are. I know, I'm like, I'm definitely gonna put them in my purse, you know, because during the summer, it's like one of those things, like you need it. I need it all year round, TMI. <laughs> but yeah. Okay, so we have the box by Fashion Style. It's a monthly box. It is $24.99. Is it $24.99? Yes. Oh, my box starts hurting. I need to like. Okay, so let's see what we have here. Uh, we have by Lavido uh, an HOA hydrating cream. I feel bad. I'm sorry. I feel bad like opening another beauty box after I open this one. But you guys know the box. Um, so it's nothing new to you guys. Wait, how about I wanna open this? Oh, be careful, Sue. H away hydrating cream. I've seen this brand before, but I don't think I've tried I've tried it yet. You do, Sylvia? Uh, evening primrose seed, evening primrose seed, sea buckthorn, and pumpkin seed. Um, I don't think I tried it. I think I might have given it away when I got this one. So, hey, if it says age away, age away, I will try everything. But they haven't invented one that actually turns back the, turns back the time. <laughs> Ooh, what's this? Cutie. Cuti, cutie oils. Is this a cuticle oil? Maybe look at that bottle. It's cute. Cute, cutie. <laughs> um... Uh, yes, cuticle oil by MIA. So I never, I never put cuticle oil. I always forget, and I do have some. But it, I love this. Uh, it has like a little felt tip. It smells like an old lady. <laughs> oh, it smells like an old lady. <laughs> That's funny. Let me smell it. Hey, old ladies don't always smell bad, you know. They usually uh, didn't. They, I don't know. My grandma, I think she wore like the cream ponds, or yeah, and it was like it smells good. Let me sniff it. You know what? It almost smells like... It almost smells like clothes. <laughs> That's funny. I don't know what that is. Um, okay, we have a cuticle oil. And we have by Floss, we got Lip Advocate. What is this? 
Let's see. A lip applicator. Sheer lip tint. Oh, I love the packaging. Formulated with shea butter to deliver long-lasting hydration. So I think it's kind of like, oh, looks cute. Kind of like a lip balm with a little tint in it, but looks nice. I won't swatch it just in case because you never know. Uh, this is really funny. You know how we got in the MUA Glam Box, we got two Makeup Geek liners. We got in this box a Makeup Geek liner in purple. So we have all the colors, you guys. <laughs> That's so funny. So we got a purple one. That's so cute. Yeah. I should try maybe a different color under. Maybe we'll do something different. I don't know. Maybe I'm not like super. Um... Yeah, maybe. And this is a skin shielding essence with ginseng and carob found in Asia. Let's see what is this. This is by Nuria, formulated with plant based extracts to strengthen your skin natural defenses. So. Uh, skin shielding essence. I have no idea what that means. What step of the uh, thing you put it on of your routine or whatever? Yeah, it could be. I don't know. Ooh. And it has little things floating. I love the kind of stuff. I really like this uh, bottle. What is a skin shielding essence? Gently applied to face and neck, used by itself or under a moisturizer. Ooh. You know why I'm not doing my um, uh, nighttime routine in bed anymore much? Because then I have to have wipes maybe, and that's what I forget. I feel like I have to wash my hands. So if I do it in bed, um, I still have to get up to go wash my hands. So that's a pain in the butt. Then we have by Vintage Dawn. Or no, Ace, Ace Butte Vintage Dawn Palette. So, let's see. Pretty. Ooh, cute colors. These are cute. Oh my gosh, you guys, uh, today... These are really good. More, I feel like a little bit more for fall, but they're still really nice. Yeah. Um, and there are a few shimmers. I like these. Like this is kind of like a blue, bluish purple, and this one, yeah, very pretty. Yeah, it's like a silver. I, I saw this uh, story from my inspo box. You know how they have a. Oh my gosh, I can't think. They have a beauty box, and the beauty box showed a beautiful Anastasia Beverly Hills palette, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna get it. You know, it's twenty nine ninety nine, and I went and got it, and then I'm thinking, why? And my sister's like, why? You get a ton of free boxes, like, and I'm like, yeah, I don't know, like that make that palette was beautiful, but I have a thou thousand palettes, and those colors, I might have them too, and then I send them an email, and I was like, can you please cancel? I know I'm that I'm that person, you know. And they didn't reply, and then I get a shipping notice. Like, I subscribe today, and I get a shipping notice. So I'm like, I don't know. Then maybe they're going to say, like, oops, sorry, it already shipped. So, I don't know. I was so, so impulsive. And this palette is beautiful, though. It has, like, a lot of pinks and purples. But then I'm like, maybe I have that already, you know? Like, oh, what an idiot. So, I don't know. I need to, like, control myself a little bit more. And it has beauty blenders, which I can always use. But I just bought a ton, like, a big pack for $8.99 on Amazon of Beauty Blenders. And then what else? It has some brushes. I think it has a nude lipstick or maybe it's, um, I don't know if it's a lipstick or if it's an under eye concealer. And then what else? And so an eyeliner. So anyway, I'm like, I don't know. But this was a good box too. You have two lip products, two skincare products, two makeup products, so not bad. And I have to try that cream. So those are the two boxes that I'll open today, maybe. Because the other ones, I feel like, um, I don't know if I'll do videos for the box. Uh, again, like I, I told you, I'm trying to I'm trying to reduce the amount of videos that I do. So one, I don't have that many out. And, you know, like maybe people don't watch them all because they're too many. Um, maybe have like one a day and maybe even reduce it to less. I don't know. And then the views, the videos, I'm not having that many views. 
So it's a lot of work for not that, you know, not much payoff. So it takes a long time, you know, um, the virus remorse, right, Patricia? I know I'm like, oh, and then I'm, I didn't want to be like, can, I, can you refund me? I don't know. It was the same day and they're so weird. They're like a weird company because they don't have the best customer service, um, you know, so it's like, and then they ship, I think they were the ones that shipped from, one time they shipped from another company, and it's like, oh, we have the same fulfillment center, but I don't know if it's true, I think they're actually the same company. So I came with the label from, I can't remember, it was like another company, and I was like, where is this from? And it, it was the beauty, like the beauty box or whatever, and I was like, oh, okay, and there's no product car, you know, it's, everything's tossed inside a mailer. Um, that could be, I mean, but there's people like, I don't know. There's people that still have views. You know, you see like sometimes, and this is probably because of the algorithm, but you see channels that have like 89 uh, subscribers and they only do Stitch Fix videos and they have a lot of views on those videos, like 500 or even more. And like you have 89 subscribers, but it's because they only do one type of video and the algor algorithm picked them up and that's how people go, you know? <gasps> Oh my gosh. Oh, I don't even, I don't even check those. I'm not subscribed to BoxyCharm, so that's why I don't think I have access to it. Um, yeah, I mean, I, those are actually the ones that I have the best views, but they're still not that, that great for the amount of subscribers that I have. So I don't know if this, my subscribers don't go through, you know how like I go through the YouTube feed of my subscriptions, like, and I see you, you know, like everyone's new videos of everyone that I subscribe. So I watch, you know, and maybe my subscribers don't do that. They don't actually go through the feed and, and see, or I don't know. But I see, like, again, I see, like, really small channels that are not even monetized. They don't even have a thousand. And they have, like, three times as much views on clothing videos. And I'm still, you know, struggling to get, like, even 100. So it's frustrating, you know, and it's work. Like we were saying the other day, like, it's just, like, not only the filming and then the editing, the uploading, um the you know how to make the thumbnail and like it takes work and is it adds up sometimes i feel like i'm always on the phone so uh, i was just checking my email see if they wrote me back but they didn't i did get the <laughs> shipping notice so yeah anyway just trying to think about it you know like what is the best um way to do it um in some companies do still one oh <laughs> No, well, I know. I hope that, I mean, as uh, I see some, some boxes, I tell them, you know, like my, my YouTube is not doing that good. You still want me to do the video? And they're like, yeah, we we'll love the video. I'm like, oh, <laughs> I'm like, I don't want to make the video. But it maybe eventually I had to say like, hey, you know, I'm not doing videos anymore. Uh, I'll just do Instagram and that's it. Like, for example, Boxy and Ipsy and even Wantable, when I do the... Um, oh... Wait, what is HH? Huntington Harbor? <laughs> I don't know what, but um, but yeah, so it is like that, the struggle, you know. I, I'm saying Boxy, Ipsy, and oh, happy hour. Boxy, Ipsy, and Wantable, for example. My agreement is to do Instagram only, and some other companies too. So I, if I do the video, that is an extra. So those are videos that maybe I can either put in a like mega unboxing or not do it to save me by time because that's the company doesn't really expect it. If I was needing content, then maybe I'll do it. But since I have like, you know, <laughs> I have enough. So yeah, it is what it is, but it's okay. I mean, I like doing it. I enjoy it when I'm filming um, and even when I'm editing, but it's just a lot of work. Sometimes I'm like, oh, I have to put this video up and I'm like, oh, I have to do the thumbnail, design this thumbnail, you know, and it takes a couple minutes, like, not a couple, like maybe five to 10 minutes and you're like, on the phone when my kids are with me, you know, so stuff like that. I don't know. Rumbling. So, it is what it is. <laughs> oh, also, there might be some rescheduling because um, Jess from Everything Proof Beauty, she's going to be in San Diego. Oh, she's going to be in San Diego now. Maybe you guys could do a live there. <laughs> um... She's going to be in San Diego when we were going to do the 24th. And then I told her the 23rd she's going to be somewhere else too. It's just like traveling all over. And I'm really jealous. <laughs> so, no, anyway. So we're going to reschedule. 
sometime in July, I think. So that's a bummer, but it's okay. It's okay. See you guys talk. <laughs> this is why I have guests. Is because for some reason I always feel like I'm gonna be like not have enough to say and I'm gonna be like a court silence. But yeah, I heard about a box that is closing. Oh, pout box, I think is closing. Have you guys ever tried that one? Pout box? What was the name of the box that has the sea glass in it? I think you mean um, the beach wave? How is it in beach life? Beach? I think um, the sea glass. I think Noel opens it. Life's a wave. Yeah, life's a wave. Oh, I already finished the Maidens. It was really good. I loved it. I liked it a lot. I didn't like that much. Um, I want something to clean my teeth. I didn't like that much Malibu Rising. Sorry. I just feel stuck, stuck in my teeth. Uh, Malibu Rising, I didn't love it. I think it's a little overhyped. I think I, people are kind of like overhyping it. Uh, but if you read other books by the author, this one for me felt a little flat. Uh, Lives Away is a gorgeous, gorgeous box. I've never opened it. Um, I don't think they ever reply to me <laughs> a message or a DM or anything. Oh, Fun Fit Fun. Did you use um? Did you use like a special promo or something, Laura? Laura. Okay, the Maidens was really good. I loved it and it, it did not disappoint. Although I did see one of the things coming and a lot of people did. And if you read a lot of, if you read a lot of thrillers, you always try to evaluate who will be the culprit that you least expect, you know? So, um, Lives Away doesn't do PR, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I couldn't, I never bought it, but it is a beautiful box for what I see that Noel unboxes. It is really beautiful. Um, what was I gonna say? But yeah, it, yeah, it was really good. It actually, the maidens left me wanting more, and uh, that's a good thing. Um, for Malibu Rising, I felt like I wanted it to end, you know. So that's not a good thing. So I don't know what to read next. I start. I'm reading with Priscilla. We're reading together. People you meet on vacation, and uh, what else? And then I have a couple other uh, thrillers that I'm thinking about reading, but I don't know, like sometimes it's like, it's hard. When you finish a good book, then you're like, what now, you know? Oh, I'm sorry, I missed the deal, Laura, what was it? Let me go back one sec. Yes, got summer box for free. Oh, that's good, that's good. That's good, like that's why I, when I subscribed, it's just really funny, but I upgraded to uh, the cost box to annual I also got the intro box for free, not the summer core box, but the spring intro box. So I'm, I'm, and I pay less, so I, you pay a little bit less. So I'm gonna end up with four boxes, but one of them is not gonna be a core box. And now I'm thinking, like, not even my uh, cost box video did well, and it used to have like, I don't know, like they, some of the videos had like at least a thousand views the cost box, and this one had. So if you want, if you guys haven't watched it, and wanna give it some love, please do. But yeah, I was like, it's not even getting good views, so I'm spending my own money, you know. <laughs> so it's like, it's so disappointing. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I don't know if, it, I don't think you can cancel annual subscriptions, so it's a bummer. What I try to do sometimes is like sell some things here and there and recoup a little bit of the money. But yeah, like, I don't know why it's not doing that well. So let me see, I'm gonna tell you. 52 views, 52 views, oh my gosh. The cost box, all true spring intro box. Maybe because it's an intro box and people don't. Yeah, those curator ones are good. They're really good value for $25. I think I got it for free one time because Noel had a $25 coupon or something and I ended up getting it for free. Cost box changed to all true. Yes, yes, yes. I don't know why I'm still thinking of cost box, but in my video, I put cost box slash all true. So I don't know, like, I have no idea, you guys. It's like one of those things that, like, 
I'm like, some people make it on YouTube, some people are like middle and some people don't make it, you know? And I don't know if it's like, I know my videos are not super good quality. Like I'm not editing amazing or anything like that. But I don't even know if that has to do with anything, you know? So it is what it is. My hair is insane. I think all summer, if we, um, we might get a membership to a club that um, has a gym and they, uh, we've been, oh, thank you, my videos. <laughs> oh, look at that. Um, we're considering for the summer, at least, subscribing to a club here in the, it's about 20 minutes from me and it has a pool, indoor pool, outdoor pool and gym. And they watch your kids Ooh, oh, that's crazy. That is really bad. If you had points or if you had money, they should not take it from you. That is really bad. Like, if you want to discontinue something, okay, but keep the ones that had it already how they had it, you know? Thank you, Nancy. Hopefully, November, February, okay. Uh, then maybe... Maybe I should not make that many videos. Yes, they watch your kids. Well, maybe I shouldn't do that many videos in the summer because it is already hard with the heat and the lights and everything. I can't do them at night, you know, so. Anyway, what I was saying is, yes, they watch your kids for three hours every day. So it's an expensive club, it's not cheap. Um, I don't know if we're gonna get my husband a membership, but I kind of want him to get a membership because if we go, um, Oh, you can still use it? Okay, so then they, they will charge you $25 or something, right? So if you want to apply, if you want to apply, let's say, the whole box for free, they, you still have to pay some. Is that what it is? So maybe they're doing it so they get some money in a quarter or something. So yeah, it's, again, they have outdoor pool, indoor pool, they have a splash pad, they have tons of classes, they have a whole room with a climb wall, how do you call it, rock climbing wall for the kids. So, oh, that is shady. Mm. So yeah, we're, we're thinking about it. I just got my vaccine, so my husband was like, let's do the vaccines first. I'm like, no, I don't care. I need to go to the gym. Um, I think part of me struggling with losing weight and not seeing a huge change with I'm doing only food, which I should still lose weight because I'm probably not doing it 100%. But when I work out, it kind of helps my body metabolism. I don't know, like, that's something. So they watch your kids for three hours a day. It is way at first, Kelly. It is way cheaper than hiring someone to watch my kid for three hours a day. Um, and I do want my husband maybe to have a membership because on the weekends, if we say, let's go to the pool, we have no pool, we have no HOA, we have no access to a pool. We're close to the beach. But you may know when you're close to the beach, going to the beach every day is still a, a little bit of an ordeal because, you know, going there, <laughs> I know I sound like a spoiled brat because if people don't live at the beach, they probably say like, if I was by the beach, I would go every day. But when you have kids, you have to, you have to, put everything in the car, get everything ready, go there. Then you have to sit, and me as a mom, I don't relax at the beach. I have to watch my kids. <laughs> so it's not relaxing, you know? It's basically, I do it for them, um, but I don't, I don't go, if I go by myself, you know, if I go with my husband, then maybe we take turns and I can say, hey, I'm going, I'm going in the ocean and watch the kids. But if I'm alone, I'm like, I have three kids, you know, I'm like watching them. So it's not relaxing, I can't read a book or anything. And then you have to come home, you have to make sure they, you shake the, the sand off and then they have to go to the shower and then you have to put the clothes in the, in the washer if in case you don't have trunks, you know, for the next day if you wanna go the next day. So it's like, it's a huge thing. Um, the club will be that too, but I will get three hours. That's nice, Sylvia, that's nice. That is something that for my house, my forever home, I do want a pool if we live in a hot place or in a place where, you know. Oh. Hi, Kelly. This hurts. I don't want to hear that. <laughs> but anyway, we're thinking about it. I think I'm going to sign up. Uh, also, I want the kids to do swim lessons, and that's very important. Like, I do want them to do it, and, and that's going to be a little extra. So it is an investment. It's definitely something that is not going to be super cheap, but I see it as a place to be in a way. Like, if it gets bad here sometimes, uh, which it hasn't been, but I'm... I'm predicting that there's going to be a time where there's going to be a lot of people here and might be like a little, you know, clashing. So, um, oh, oh, I used to live in an apartment building. We had a pool too, and we didn't go all the time, but we had that option, you know? So anyway, yeah. So that might be one of the things that we do. And I don't know how we came to that, but, um, yeah, they watch your kids for three hours and that for me, 
is like a huge blessing even if i take one or two classes let's say one is 45 minutes the other one's 45 minutes if i can do two at a, two at the same time at the, like at the same day maybe i'll start with one then i'll go swim a couple laps and then i'll sit by the pool and read a book or something and relax my kid while well, my kids are <laughs> in the kids club you know and then i get the kids out and then i have them swim in the ocean and i mean in the pool and i can watch them but i already had my relaxation time you know what i mean so it's definitely an investment, I think, in my sanity, in my own wellness, because I can't, I tell my husband, like, I can't work out with the kids. Like, they're getting in between me. I'm afraid I'm going to kick them or whatever. And then they're like, mommy, this is not working. So I have to stop the workout and help them with something. So, you know, like, it's not the same. So, yeah, I'm excited. So hopefully you will get that. I don't know how that we were talking about this, but <laughs> um, this summer, right? I don't know, maybe. Yeah, it sounds worth it. It is, a, it is you know, money, but uh, me and my parents were like, you should do it, you should do it, because, um, again, like, if something gets hard here, like, I, we live only in a room. I don't know if you guys know that, and it's kind of embarrassing, but we're all the kids and I and my husband, we're all in a room. So if I want to escape, I have that little room, and I don't want to put the kids in, like, okay, we're still in the room now, we're still in the room, you know? It's unfair. We have a little patio back here, and they play there sometimes, but it's kind of small. So anyway, it's nice to have a place to like, okay, we're going to the pool, bye-bye, you know, and then it's going to feel like a little bit more, I mean, it's like a little bit more safe than the beach because, you know, the beach you're out and you have to walk to go to the bathroom or whatever, and this place you're like, you have everything closed, they have a coffee house, they have, um, oh, Vicky, I'll get back on that. They have a coffee house and they have, a, um, which is a bar, you know, like very dangerous. You kind of have to like control my budget. I was telling my husband, like, I probably have to pack lunches because that's going to easily add up. Uh, Vicky, so Tati went back to YouTube and to be honest, I don't know why she left. So someone can fill me in. I know there was some drama and I know that Katie from Without a Crystal, Crystal Ball was sued by them. Working out makes me feel amazing. That is true. Like my, mentally everything like it's just so much better and i like i like going to classes because i feel like you know the community and like someone telling me what to do is more directed than i'm like they have cycle classes so i'm gonna see if they have some not they have some that are very early in the morning but obviously i'm gonna try to get the ones that are more late or whatever but i like cycling because i feel like i don't know i like it and and then they have zumba that i'm trying to see if i can do zumba they have a couple that are, you have to pay a little extra, but they have a ton that you don't. So I like the CrossFit ones or stuff like that. If I don't have to pay extra, then I'll take those, you know. I'm just going to see, like, take us, no, take classes. I have to check, but, yeah. So, anyway, Taddy, I know that Taddy was, there was, a, there was a problem with, it's called, <laughs> I didn't want to say the name because it's called Lifetime Fitness. They're all over the U.S. too. And it's way cheaper in other states, though. But if, this is, like, South Orange County. Ooh, step aerobic. I don't even know if they do that much lately. But yeah, that's a nice one too. Yeah, I like anything that is like, you know. Um, no, it's okay. I mean it's just because it is if people know that it could be expensive, you know, I don't wanna like oh you're gonna it's for it's kinda like a club for it's kinda like a grunt country club. Um Oh you did? Oh my gosh, Kelly, you did. What did you do? Actually I got I got into it because the lady that curates Be Relaxed, she was telling me she worked. We even had a phone call. She kind of helped me. You know, she's like, "Let's serve. I'll give you a free consult for help." And um, and she's like, "Yeah, well, I shouldn't say this, but she works there as a health and fitness coach." Um, and and she gave me like a link with a discount. It's like a kind of like extreme hip hop on YouTube. I'm writing that down. Wait, because I'm gonna forget. I do like hip hop and I love dancing. So I feel like those are like really nice workouts. I overnight shift when I was like, you know, they don't do 24 hours anymore. I was reading some reviews and people were like, um, no, they don't do. I don't know if they recently cut it down. Oh my gosh, Christine. I know I have three kids too. It, that's the thing. I had him all year. Um, the, my first grader didn't go to school. And they also need activities, and that's the thing. Like, the swim lessons are going to be a little extra, but I was looking around, even the YMCA. Um, the YMCA membership is way cheaper, but I don't know if they have, um, for example, when let me write down the extreme hip-hop because I'm going to forget. Um, 
the YMCA, the closest one to us, the pool is not open for recreation, it's only open for laps. So then we would have to drive to Mission Viejo for recreational. And I don't know if the YMCA kind of allows you to hang out. Let me know, maybe you guys know. I was thinking about visiting it too, sorry. I'm, I'm missing the... Um, I don't know if you can hang out. In Lifetime, you can hang out. You can stay and hang out, you know. Um, you can use the pool. You can let them, they have like beach chairs. They have a bar, coffee house. So I feel like it's more of a place that you can hang out. And the YMCA, I don't know if it's like that and if it's more like you come to your class and then you're gone. I don't know if they have amenities. So it is way cheaper, but you still have to pay the swim lessons extra. Um, but yeah, that's one of the things, like I want my kids to have activities and if they go, if I go to that gym every day and they have three hours of kids club or whatever, they have arts and crafts, they have some STEM stuff like included in there. They have that rock climbing wall thing. So it's kind of things to do and like a change of air. Um, so I think it's good, you know, like, and for me too, it's like, I need, and my husband sometimes doesn't get it. You know, he's like, this is for you to be like, to not be with the kids while you work out. You can work out at home. I'm like, you don't get it. It's not the same. Um, he's like, you worked out at home. Like I lost 30 pounds on Weight Watchers before I had kids and I worked out twice a day, but I had no kids. So I would run in the morning and then come from work and do like a hit workout at home. Yeah, that's easy, you know, but yeah, it sounds good. It's like a rich country club, country club place. <laughs> but I was like, I was like my husband, like, let's put it out. Like, seriously, I'd do anything. <laughs> I applied for this campaign on Adore Me to do a try-on with uh, panties and bras. And he's like, are you sure? You're going to have to show, you know, you had to model that. And I'm like, I don't care. It's $600. It will pay for the club, like two months of the club, you know, so you get it how much it is. And I didn't get in. And I'm like, I don't, I don't. <laughs> oh, my dad was like, no, Lucia, you shouldn't, you shouldn't do that. You shouldn't show yourself. And I'm like, but I was thinking maybe I could just put like a robe and show this part a little bit, you know, but I didn't get in. So it was not meant to be, it was going to be really embarrassing. And my husband's like, you better start toning down if you want to show your body. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's crazy. And I'm like, it's the same thing as modeling bikini, like, you know, bikini, but I'm not in shape at all to show. So it was going to be like a little bit of a, freak show <laughs> uh they are even my videos that i don't show anything have 400 views and i actually have one coming up where i'm gonna try on things but there's more like loungewear so i'm not gonna show anything so i show loungewear um but yeah i know yes there's some people that like even naughty knickers there are girls that try on those I mean, they put it on the thumbnail but yeah, and my husband was telling me like, are you sure you want to switch that? You know, like maybe you lose people, you lose subscribers because you're showing. And I'm like, I was just going to do it in a very subtle way. Focus market research studies. How do I do that? Is that when it says like paid study on uh, acid reflex or stuff like that? Because I signed up for one and I never ended up doing it. Is that what it is, Kelly? Let me know. Then maybe shoot me an email. <laughs> I was like, I was like telling my husband, I even Googled, okay, this is crazy, you guys, but I was kind of jokingly Googling how to make money showing pictures of feet. Because, <laughs> you know, some people make a lot of money. <laughs> um, there's some videos, I didn't watch them all, but there's some videos that like, how do I make money, how do I make a living photographing my feet? I'm like, what? <laughs> I wouldn't mind that. You know? <laughs> I don't think, I don't know. But anyway, tell me about Tati, you guys, because I know she, there was an issue with Dawson, some guy named Dawson something. Um, John Dawson or something. And the other guy. I can't remember the name. So there was some kind of drama there. And then I know that they sued a YouTuber that was reporting on the things going on. And they settled um, because this um, Shane Dawson. So what happened? Well, anyway, I wish I had someone here to tell me it right now. <laughs> um yeah, apparently Katie from Without a Crystal Ball had a fake source. And this person that was her source wanted to hurt Tati and James Westbrook. I love that last name, though. They have a really good last name, Westbrook. Ah, love it. Um, and then they kind of, like, talked it out. And I guess they settled or something. So, but I don't know. I love dance classes, too. I feel like that's a really good way for me to be working out without thinking that I'm working out. You know, uh, but yeah, but I don't know what happened. Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star. Yes, I think, or was it? Yeah, Shane Dawson. I think they were her friends and 
there was a video and yeah and they made her i think like she said that they made her put out a video and then she took it out she felt pressured something like that i don't know so so she's back to youtube i mean i don't know like if if she did something really really wrong i mean laura i don't like that woman i'm sorry but laura what's her name laura miller I don't know. I can't stand her voice, and I, I'm no one to talk to. Because, I'm no one to talk because my voice is probably very annoying in my accent too. But she has a shaky voice. Like, ah. I don't know how she's so big. I don't know how she's so big, you guys, because I cannot stand her voice. Sorry, I'm being bad. But she had some racist. Um, is it Laura Miller? No, it's it's another name. But it's kind of like an American name, right? Even though she's person i don't know she had some racist uh laura lee laura lee yeah um they found racist twit twit tweets and stuff like that and she still kept doing it so i don't know i mean i don't feel like it gets worse than that no yeah she has a shaky voice <laughs> like constantly i'm like how can people watch it and like i don't get it but that's me i don't know um i mean maybe that's why i don't watch it oh no her vo yeah her voice is terrible i'm like and then after I found out, she uh, like she did those racist tweets, and she's like, "I was a different person." Okay, well, the people forgot her, for forgave her for doing that. Like, I don't know what Tati did, but I don't think it's worse than that, right? I mean, you need only one to manage on your feet, and only fans. Oh, okay, thank you, only fans. I think you told me that before. <laughs> you know what? Is, uh, you guys, someone told me about the. Twitch people streaming from their bathtub and then my husband was showing me all the people showing they're like girls that put an inflatable pool in their living room and they're like on with the bikinis and they're like streaming and like seriously like I don't even know what they say but they're just naked and people watch them you know I'm like <laughs> to, uh, uh, do you guys Twitch might even be more money I think I'm gonna go to Twitch the thing is like <sighs> the thing with Twitch is that you have to be constantly live like, I'll have to be here, like, eight hours and talking to people. But I don't even know what I would do. Like, unboxings or hanging out. What do people in bathtubs do? Sorry, I feel like my hair's... She's making that mini hair. Um, who is? The one that didn't come back yet, and I don't know if she's ever going to come back, is Micah Stoffer. But her husband was doing videos still. So, but Micah is gone. And did she post on Instagram? I think... Mm, I don't think she posted on Instagram, but someone posted on his Instagram. I'm sorry about you and Micah. And someone was like, oh, um, Katie from <laughs> With Our Crystal Ball. I've been watching her sometimes because she's covering the dagger stuff. And... Um, I don't, know, I don't know but you know like her her channel is so clickbait too it's like a couple months ago we're like oh are these and that splitting and they're not splitting you know so she gets sources or stuff and she reports on it but doesn't mean that it's true but anyway but she has she does have some good sources from she's really good at investigating i don't know if someone does it for her but she goes into like county records and like checks everything she also reported on micah stoffer about the rehoming or of their kid but anyway i don't know so she was saying like are they breaking up are they getting divorced because someone said i'm sorry about you and micah and people were like well maybe she's they're talking about like what happened with um huxley not necessarily that they're getting divorced but i can see like for what people describe micah to be like a narcissist that she wanted to be this in the spotlight uh the fact that he's able to do videos and it's not getting you know bashed but she's not able to make any social media appearances because she gets destroyed and she they might cause some problems which i think is ridiculous because i don't understand why he can still make videos but since his audience cares about the cars and stuff like that they don't really follow his private life then i'm thinking that's why he has you know like a following still but i mean i don't know we'll see if she ever comes back must be killing her I don't know is she i thought she was is she not maybe i'm wrong maybe i'm wrong but i thought she was persian but 
Also, there was another girl, uh, Kathleen Lights, which I really like. I think she's adorable. Um, she was with Jacqueline Hill, and Jacqueline even had a huge drama over her. I remember. I don't know if you guys remember her lipsticks having fuzzy stuff and stuff in it. She's from Alabama. Oh, I don't know where I got that. Maybe, but she. I don't know. But where are her roots? Like she looks like very tan. Is she fully like white? I don't know. Um, that's funny. I don't know why I thought she was Persian. Maybe I was watching other Persian girls. Um, there were like a couple girls, Denny Panosian, and there was another one, and uh, maybe I thought she was too. I don't know. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, Kathleen also was caught in a video saying a racial slur. And she never addressed it or anything, but she kept making videos, so I don't know. <laughs> so, and it was a video that Jacqueline Hill's ex-husband filmed one time they were hanging out. And she said the N-word playing a video game. And I guess Jacqueline Hill's husband put it up in the stories, Instagram stories. Um, and I never saw a video of Kathleen addressing it or apologizing. I think she still posted videos i don't know so people some people do that i don't know <laughs> i know one time uh my william my seven-year-old was playing a video game and he's in, a, in an ipad or like he has a kindle and he said the n-word and me and my husband were like william what the heck where did you hear that word um it was like he's looking at me like what did i do why you know he probably heard that in a video game and he's like what, what? he didn't know it was wrong and we're like no william you can't say that you know but i'm like i'm like i'm glad it was at home and not outside because i'm like i was like we said william you never say that word that's a really bad word <laughs> and i was like oh but imagine if he said that somewhere else i'm like no and we don't say that at all so it's like where would you get that it had to be like a video game you know like um which is I'm like if and i say sometimes like if they're watching sometimes he watches youtube videos where they're like kids playing video games and i hear them cuss and i'm like well, i don't want you to watch the video like if they're saying bad words don't watch it or put the volume down just watch them play you know because they get really rowdy but i'm like oh you know like i was me and my husband were like well, it's so funny how you looked at us like what jeez I know but there was a tv show we just finished with my husband startup on um all about huh weird doesn't she look very tan she looks like tanner than me i don't know like, i would think she's hispanic or something but oh yeah well yeah we usually don't uh, to be honest like we're not we're not people that cost a lot but sometimes if we are mad at each other me and my husband <laughs> <laughs> and he, my son is the one that says, can you not say bad word, please? <laughs> so he, he, calls out, he calls us out sometimes. We're like, ah. Um, but yeah, like, no, the N-word and stuff like that is, like, not words that we use. Uh, but we were watching this show, Startup, and they are in, uh, there's one character that is Haitian, and they're, like, in Little Haiti, and they do call each other that, you know, all the time. And then if my husband watches them, he's like, confused because i'm like these people are uh you know saying this word but <laughs> so yeah so i'm like yeah it's like it's yeah, it was a really good show though and it's over and i don't know if it's coming in season four you guys watched it if you guys want to watch something that's a good show to watch on netflix start up so let's just do should we do the giveaway you guys i'm getting thirsty again i want to drink something <laughs> let me show you what i bought at the mall because I, I did it start up, start up, like a startup um, company. It's about like, it's so funny because and my husband is kind of investing a little bit in Bitcoin and stuff like that. And when we just started talking about it, then we saw that show and it's about this girl who invents a cryptocurrency. It's really cool, guys. Don't, don't let my review. Okay, so I went to the mall to get the kids haircuts and then of course there was seeds candy there. But I thought, oh, Father's Day is coming. So I know my dad is going to love. I got him for his birthday a Seeds Candy uh, bag, a box, and they, he loved it. And then I got my father-in-law a box of truffles. I don't know if I'm going to give him this. I'm going to ask my husband what he prefers. I know my husband loves peppermint patties. So either or, I'm going to ask him what he prefers the most. And then I got 
I got chocolate from me though. Hi, Leah. Totally, I know it's true, Priscilla. And I, I'm, I'm telling you, you guys, but I'm not usually like. I usually ask, and it's funny because sometimes I ask. I ask because I think people are fascinating. That's that's my thing. And the other day, one time I had this guy at Costco, his name was Carlos, I think, and he was full black, you know. And I asked him, oh, where are you from? Because of the name, because I thought it was weird, like Carlos is like a Spanish name and he looks black and he's like, I'm from here. And it's not funny when people tell you like, I'm from here. Uh, yes, I know, but <laughs> I mean, you know, like, I was just like, why did your mom name you that name? I don't know, it's like interesting to me, you know, like. <laughs> It's just funny how people sometimes get a little defensive and they're like, I'm from here. Yeah, I get it. So I got some for me. I don't think I'm going to eat them all, but I, I mean, these candies are good. I'm not going to say they're amazing. They're good. What do you guys think? Um, I'm sure there's maybe better out there. And I remember when I went to Argentina and I came back, I brought, we bought a box of chocolate from the South and seriously eating those were orgasmic. I'm sorry. Mm. PG-13. PG-13. No, they were seriously. I was like, oh my gosh. And then there's some here too. So, I'm so bad, you guys. I don't know. <laughs> and I have some samples. I, I've i been doing good and bad. It's like crazy. Like during the day, sometimes I eat all keto. I'm doing really good. And then at night, do the kids know? Um, they got a little something too. Uh, I usually don't give them these because they don't like the soft you know um the soft centers they're like ew what's this you know so they got a little teddy bear um but yeah but at least i got something for everyone else mm, we come in all yes the square suckers those are the ones that they got and then they ended up throwing them away and i'm like i'm never getting this i'm never getting this Decision fatigue. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, I do really good even for dinner. Like, I have a salad and I make a salad, like, very keto, you know, like, and then at night I'm like, oh. And the other day my husband and I got into an argument because of my in laws, you know, and <laughs> this is crazy, but um, he left because I kept talking about it. I kept talking about it and he didn't want to talk about it. And I kept bringing it up because I was really upset about something. So he went for a walk. And then when he came back, I'm like, okay, now it's my turn. I went to the store and I bought ice cream my favorite ice cream the magnum one and i ate it and i was like you know it's kind of like how i kind of punish myself i'm like i'm mad i haven't done that i haven't had ice cream in a long time though but i do other things you know like i don't know if a subscription box has a chocolate that looks appetizing i might get it i might get, eat it so the thing is that's why i want to really i want to subscribe to this gym because I know that I'm probably gonna go every day, and I know I know that I will because one, we're paying a lot of money. Oh, it's oh they made a new one. It's white chocolate, red velvet. It's so good. It's like I used to love the white chocolate vanilla one. You know the ones. It's like the Magnum pine that you crack, and it has it's all around. It has white chocolate, white chocolate on the top, white chocolate on the bottom. <gasps> so good. And the vanilla ice cream was good, but I felt like it was missing something. And now when they did this red velvet, oh my you guys it's too good i didn't finish it which is a victory a small victory but anyway um i just feel like i'm not saying i'm not gonna say um oh once i start the gym i'm not gonna eat better no but at least if i go and i work out then it's something you know like then you know if i have a little treat it's different but if i i need to decide if i'm gonna stick to keto and do keto which i've been kind of doing good in a lot of ways like again breakfast lunch dinner it's the night that kills me. That's the thing. Sometimes like, ah. So, or do my mom's diet that is like a keto diet, but more restrictive. They don't do cream cheese. Uh, they do one avocado a day. No cream. No whipped cream. No whipped cream. Whipped cream and fruits. Not the first week, but the second week. If you guys done keto, let me know. Like, I was doing keto and at night to, you know, kill that sweet craving i would do some strawberries with heavy cream and i i read i was reading online and some people doing keto they don't do any fruits at all and i read that the most amazing chocolate i've ever had might be chocolate from argentina um maybe i'm not want to say like because it's from argentina i don't know uh, but that was those like candies like they were like kind of seeds candies from argentina there were some that were so yummy you guys like i seriously i was like dying but cadbury i like cadbury um 
When you get a free pass, let me see. Wait, I missed something. What was that? So it's like really being careful when you need a free pass. I heard that it's good to give yourself a th three free passes. Ah, oh, free passes a month for keto, Leah. Yeah, that's a good idea. Um, I read several things. I read that some people do do fruit on keto, but they tell you some fruits that are lower on carbs, and berries are one of them. Berries, strawberries. Someone told me apples, but apples. I I read it has twenty one grams of carbs. So I don't know. I'm not sure. You know, that's the thing. Um. So I would do strawberries and then I would whip some cream with some cinnamon, nutmeg, and it was delicious. And that uh, ethereal or whatever sugar sometimes, like it's not sugar, it's like the sugar, that keto sugar or whatever. And that was good. But then I'm like, I was in losing weight. And I'm like, I'm thinking if I'm eating too much of that cream or too much. Um, I try everything all that. You know, but I, Laura, I tried drinking no alcohol. I tried like no alcohol for like a month or something and I didn't really lose that much weight because I wasn't like, I know I had this and this is why I bought these ones because they're like zero carbs, no, two grams of carbs, a hundred calories, whatever. Um, but I really don't, I think sucrose is the one, I don't know. But when I talked to this lady, she said like, I tell people to eat strawberries, apples, and I think banana, she said, or banana is bad. I don't know. But my mom's diet, the first week she says no fruit. Good night, Penny. Oh, I'm still, you saying bye. Um, you want to do a giveaway quick before you leave so you can enter? Ah, I don't want you to leave. Um, okay, let me, um, let me get the random number thing. So yeah, I've heard different things. My mom's diet uh, says, no, no fruit the first week and when I did her diet I lost 18 pounds in two weeks so maybe I should do that it's just hard you have to make these fake breads with egg and stuff and it's so much work that's the thing it's just the work um you know as a cooking and stuff like that especially in the summer like baking those those breads and stuff you're like and that's another thing I have I'm limited sometimes because my husband sleeps during the day and he sleeps upstairs in the loft so I can have access to the room and then uh, all the heat when I cook goes up. So I try not to cook during the day so he can sleep better. And my friend, my sister was telling me like, are you not gonna eat because your husband's sleeping? Like we have to find a way. And one of the things we did is like, we, my mom had our toaster oven and she bought herself one. She gave us our toaster oven. I thought about putting it outside on top of the freezer and maybe cook during the day in the toaster oven outside. I know it sounds crazy, you guys. You're probably thinking like, this woman is living in a crazy world. Um, yeah, but you know, like, or I can have my husband sleep in our room during the day and then I can't like come in the room, you know, sometimes I take pictures in the room, so I'd rather have access to it. Um, and then sometimes the kids are like, oh, I want to go inside and find something and he's sleeping. I'm like, ah, oh. so it is like that. So One pound, I, I, okay, so I read, my mom's diet, they say no fruit the first week, then add one fruit the second week, not as dessert, so not at night, because I guess they're trying to make you not crave the sugar at a certain time, and I feel like sometimes if you have, oh, my arm's hurting, if you have sugar at night, then the morning you wake up craving sugar, I think it's something like that, and that worked, like, happened to me, like, I was doing really good, and then we had Walter's birthday, and I had cake, and then the whole week, it took me so long to make good decisions. Like I was making really good, I had cake, and then my brain got like, again, like craving sugar, you know? And even now my mom, like she does diet, she doesn't even crave like sweets anymore. She sees cake and she's like, oh, I'm fine. And it's almost like, I think they, they say that don't, don't eat fruit as a dessert, so you don't, you train your brain not to want something sweet after dinner, you know? Um, I don't know, I read several things. I read people do want fruit and keto and they say berries something else i i follow this girl on instagram on, on youtube she doesn't do any fruit on keto um she does some of this um what about um what about like watermelon do you guys think like i should google it it's good for keto i mean watermelon i feel like it's water i love watermelon but i love watermelon when it's cut up <laughs> i don't want to cut it up that's the thing so yeah i don't know that's it that's the main thing i was doing that i was whipping the cream Maybe I was eating too much cream and it was too much fat. But then some people in the group, in Facebook group, they're like, don't be stingy on the cream and fat. 
I don't know. You know, so that's the thing. I have an appointment on the phone with my my insurance. They have like a nutrition department and they do nutrition education, they said. So they don't do meal plans, but I'm gonna, I have an appointment on the phone and I'm going to see if they can refer me to a nutritionist or something. Uh, and yeah, like I think what I had to do is like keto got confusing because of all the options. Um, you know, like when it's like, oh, you have keto pancakes and keto this and keto that. I'm like, yeah, but can I have unlimited of those pancakes? No. So that's when it's confusing. It's like, when am I having the right amount? But when you do something like you eat this and you don't eat that, and that's it. It's not almond milk coffee. Oh, yeah, I think you can have uh, watermelon for me. Oh, yeah, I love it. When, when, the thing is, like, if I buy a whole watermelon or a half a watermelon, then I end up not cutting it and it goes bad and I throw it away. So that's the thing. Like, if it's cut up, when I go to parties here, like, I don't know, if, maybe in other states too, but in California, they do a lot of fruit. And when there's, like, watermelon or even grapes, like, sometimes grapes, I won't eat them at home. But when I go to a party, I'm like, oh, my gosh, watermelon, honeydew, cantaloupe, Oh, they're amazing. But then I buy them and sometimes they're even not ripe enough and then I wait and they go bad, you know. But anyway, that's what I'm struggling with right now. Like, I have to stick to a diet. I talked to, when I talked to Wen from Be Relax, she said, well, it sounds like the last thing that really worked for you was Weight Watchers. And I did it for a year. Because um, I also did juicing and I lost 20 pounds. But juicing is not, you know, maintainable in long run. Um... I love strawberries and now they're coming very sweet. I think the seasons when they're coming sweet and you don't need to put anything. So I actually have strawberries in my fridge. So that's kind of what the dessert that I was having. I don't know you guys, maybe I just have to write everything down and... Carlos Jaramillo, is he doing keto? <laughs> I'm also afraid sometimes with keto because I heard people like their cholesterol going down, but my mom's cholesterol went up when she was doing it. And we have a history of having high cholesterol in my family. So I'm like, I don't know. Maybe I should just do her again. Like her restrictive diet worked. So it's more like you eat this, don't eat that. That's it. You know, you can make breads with this or that. I try Nutrisystem too. I hated the food. My my mother in law is doing it just a kind of long run, and um, but yeah, like I don't know. Now I'm waiting to see if I you know I'm gonna talk to my insurance because originally, not originally, but I saw, I saw this girl. She had the gastric vertical sleeve surgery something, and she was my weight. Um, she was five six instead of five seven, and a lot of food is a lot of food. And um, and she lost, she's a size, I don't know, maybe a size four now. She's like super skinny. And not like super skinny bad, but she had the surgery. And then it kind of like, I'm like, why if I have the surgery myself, you know? I don't know if my insurance will cover it. Like hers didn't and she paid for it. So right now we wouldn't be able to get it done. And my family was like, no, no, you don't need a surgery. You just need to diet and exercise, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, I know, but it's not working. And they do that, that surgery when nothing else works so i'm like trying and that's why i'm talking to the to the insurance too to like okay let's put it on writing that i'm talking to you guys about my struggles you know in case one day i want to pursue that but guys it's hard yeah but what about like you know when people like i always you tell them oh I'm, I'm in a diet and um and I'm eating a fruit and they're like, but calories, that's why I hate counting calories because with Weight Watchers, I loved that fruits and vegetables were free. And maybe I'm thinking about like considering just doing Weight Watchers without signing up. Like I know in my mind how many points and you can find a calculator online and calculate the old plan. Like the, you know how to always like keep up with the new plans. They change them up all the time. And I think I will still lose weight. Um, and you kind of get the principles. What I like about Weight Watchers is like you kind of, um, cause of color. Is she, um, is she British? I'll be, yeah, when then some people are like, oh, but you know, an orange has the calories. I'm like, I'm eating an orange and I, a bar of chocolate, a bar of chocolate. Can you leave me alone? <laughs> you know? So I don't know you guys, like I'm not losing. It's usually the scale, like maybe goes down six pounds and then the next day I'm up and losing. I don't get it. 
I don't get it. So. Oh, Canadian. Okay. Uh, I'm going to check it out. Because I'm going to write down. I'm going to do anything. But, yeah. Anyway. Yeah, you know what my mom, uh, my mom did a lot of times to lose weight? Um, she would replace dinner with a fruit salad and some yogurt. And you, she lost weight. So maybe I did that too a certain time. Um, so. I had a friend who lost a lot of weight doing like breakfast and dinner. She would eat oatmeal. And then lunch, she would do like a healthy meal. But yummy, you know. Definitely, I know. And fruit kind of like gets processed, you know. It doesn't have fat. Yeah, it doesn't have any fat, right? Or carbs. It has carbs, but I don't know. It's not the bad carb. It's like, it's not the simple carbs. It's the carbs that take longer to break, right? Yeah. So this is the giveaway. I have the number and uh, the numbers here I did it randomly. So you guys go ahead and choose your number. The bad thing I'm doing from YouTube today and I don't see the chat on the side like I do on StreamYard. So uh, I uh, love bread too. I, oh, fiber, yeah. Fiber actually takes away the carbs. Like, if you have something, that's what I learned, something that has 10 carbs but 7 grams of fiber is actually 3 net carbs. So, but yeah. No, I know. I love bread, too. And that's the thing. Like, in the morning, I like to have, I bought this keto bread, and I have one or two slices with avocado. Um, but in, uh, in again, like, the, this keto bread has two net carbs, and now you're supposed to have 25 during the day, and then it's just so hard. Like, you ended up counting. I'm like, just tell me what I can eat. Ooh. Hi, Bobby. <laughs> so, like, right now I don't have dinner planned, and it's late. And I'm like, what do I do? I don't know. <laughs> Yesterday, I, uh, we, I made pizza for that for everyone and then I had a cauliflower crust pizza from a uh, Costco and they have it on Amazon too and I put some olives and blue cheese and it was really good so but then you look at the carbs and it says like 21 carbs so I don't know like do I go by the carbs or do I go by the fact that it's a cauliflower crust and it's supposed to be good you know well eggs are good Eggs are always, I think every diet is like, I'm, I don't know. Maybe like they tell you do less egg yolks or something. But, yay. Jesse, when is your live? Oh my gosh. Oh no, I didn't miss it. Oh, wow. Do you see what I'm asking? When is your live with, with Kitty and it already happened? Wow. Okay. Okay. Bobby, Patricia was saying that she's getting a mystery box delivered from uh, when you were live with me. I don't know how many got the, how many got the uh, mystery box or a purchase when you guys were live. So I don't think I saw anyone close to the number without going over. So what do we do if we don't have anyone? You did? Ah! Did you buy it la the day that they were live here? Dang, that's yummy, Priscilla. But that's the thing, like in the morning, I first I take hours to cook. I mean, to make my breakfast. I usually have coffee. But I don't want to cook all that, you know. That's the thing. Yeah, maybe we should guess again. Let me go up. Uh, one second. Let me go and see the numbers if I see anything. Okay, someone actually did guess under. That is so funny. This is hilarious. Okay. Monica said 12. Did everyone guess? Oh, you didn't say anything. Yeah. E. Oh, 
Oh, I don't like to cook. I lost my love for cooking and I think it's because I'm living here um, and I had to have everything pristine all the time. So there's like with cooking comes the pressure of having everything clean after. And I'm not saying it's a good habit to have. Yes. And I should implement it in my house. But, um, <laughs> but the fact that, you know, like I have to, I don't know, like I'm always in that situation where I'm like, I need to, oh, if I cook, so if I cook three meals, I'm cleaning three times every time after. It, and again, it's a good habit, but having three little kids, sometimes it doesn't always get done right away. And um, so sometimes I choose, like, I would rather not cook than having to deal with a lot, you know? Yesterday I did a deep clean of the kitchen, though, but I just couldn't stop. Hey, everyone wants to see you. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. I'm so glad, Bobby. I'm so glad. I, I actually see that a lot of times. It was from 1 to 100. But I already kind of hinted. So I feel it. Oh, yeah. I think it has to do with that. Like, and sometimes also another thing, and, and you know, maybe people are like, oh my gosh, you don't cook for your kids. Like, I do, they snack a lot, which is a bad thing, but they're so picky. And I chose not to make a bottle of it while we live with my in-laws because I don't want the screaming. And I know it's like one thing that I just have to do for my sanity. When we move out of our house, I will fight with them and whatever. But right now, like I'm trying to make dinner time like very peaceful. So when they don't, why, sometimes I cook and they don't eat it, then it makes me bad. You know, I'm like, why am I cooking this? So sometimes I cook something elaborate for me and my husband and the kids eat something simple like chicken nuggets or mac and cheese or Wesley begs me for broccoli which is like oh um, William likes rice and mashed potatoes <laughs> uh, Walter loves avocados sometimes I make I prepare little things for different things for them but eventually when we move out and my plan is like I'm gonna make one meal you eat it or don't eat it or you starve you know and you eat it next, the next morning okay so should I set the number then look at this the sparkle the sparkles my little I live with family as a way yeah, yeah, sometimes you have to choose. And even in, in the eyes of other people, it might make me a bad mom. And yes, maybe I'm not being 100% the mom I want to be because I am. I feel like I'm conditioned, you know. And they even might tell me, you feel free to do whatever you want, but I can't. I just, there's some things that I can't, you know, like, um, long story. But um, they've been really busy. Like, there's the house is going on sale, so that's why I predict that they once the house goes on sale they might be here a lot and that's why I want to have a place to go you know uh, also because if my father-in-law wants to work in the computer or whatever I don't want the kids being loud and feeling like I have to like you know like keep him yeah I love I love avocado toast and that is the one thing with keto like if the bread works and it's allowed or whatever then um, I love having that and I could go for that all the time so avocado toast is so good like the kids you mean or what <laughs> um yeah i know but even even if i did give him a little spanking like they're not against you know me spanking the kids or whatever but i just like the meal times that we've had moments where westy was crying and crying and crying and we're like eat your food eat eat eat, eat. and it's like the screaming you know it's just like so tense that because there are other people watching you feel like more so whatever like if i was at my house i'd be like westy you go go to sleep you don't eat and the next morning i serve him the same food or something like that i don't know that's what some people told me well the number was 18 and the closest one without going over was monica <laughs> so monica <laughs> you're getting my mystery box that is so funny so i know that i think she might not want she might not want box but i think everything else was good for her because i know her <laughs> That is so funny. Yay. One of the reasons why I wanted to come live today was to do the giveaway because I had this box and I'm like, I need to send it out. <laughs> Sometimes I'm like, I don't have that much space, you know? So once I have a box with things, I'm like, take it guys. Yay. So yeah, I don't even know what I'm going to do tonight. We have some pizza left over from yesterday. So I'll probably eat that myself. Um, and I don't know, my husband has leftovers. I don't know. It's one of the things we like. Uh, K. 
cannot wait, you guys. Cannot wait. I think Brendan is not taking summer school. Uh, he, we decided. I mean, it was kind of up to him. And I said, like, whatever you want to do is fine. Um, when he's off the summer, it's so much, it's so much better because summer school is so intense that we don't see him at all. And like, I don't get any help. Like, he's constantly studying. So when he takes summer off, it's like, woo, he's gonna, he's gonna be studying and preparing and all that. For bye, no worries. Good night, Kelly. Thanks for coming. Um, we have more people, 24. I think we're gonna get to 30 eventually, yeah? Um, and yeah, so it's gonna be a good summer, I think, if he doesn't take summer school. Uh, it doesn't make the school time longer because he was taking, he has four more classes left, you guys, four. So he was gonna take one in summer, two in fall, and one in winter. So now what he's gonna do is he's gonna do two fall, two winter. Hopefully he can do both together and he doesn't feel like he has to separate them because i don't know oh i don't know but i think the summer might be good you know having him around even though he's gonna be prepping he's reading like really big books for interview prepping and stuff like that he might be applying for some internships if he does get an internship then it will make the school longer because maybe he will um postpone one semester to do the internship but i think it will be good because it might be a paid internship and you know it's like working in a way but i don't know if my in-laws will like that we'll stay a little longer here i mean i want to get out of here and i get it but i don't know we might have to move with my parents for a semester or two a quarter or two i don't know we'll see um we were looking at a certain point to let's rent something together and then COVID happened so my dad's income became a little less and uh, we were like it was uncertain you know so but maybe Maybe we could, you know. Once the kids are in school, I could work a little bit more. And we'll see. Oh, lots of things, but I'm looking forward to the future for sure. A little afraid. Sometimes I'm like, what if something happens? Like my husband ends, finishes school and then, I don't know, he has an accident. I know it sounds terrible. But I'm like, and then, you know, he can get a job. It's like, oh, just, oh, anyway, I want some normality. So anyway, normalcy, normalcy. I'm talking about you. Um, so yeah, that's what it is. That's what it's at right now, you guys. One thing I was thinking, if we get this club membership, like I do one workout or two workouts, and then when the kids are in school, I'll just go outside with my laptop or something and I'll write my book. Wouldn't that be awesome? <laughs> or do some work for social media and then that's it. And then not do it for the rest of the day. So dedicate that time for that and then spend the rest of the day with my kids. What's for dinner? I don't know. Like we have some pizza left over from yesterday. Uh, so I have some of that cauliflower one. So I'll probably have that. Um, my husband might have a little bit more pizza. Or if we give it to the kids, then um, I'll make something for him. Something quick. I don't know what I have. I have these enchiladas. that are keto enchiladas from Costco. And they're really good. I add some salsa, some sour cream, and some avocado. But sometimes I want... I want like, they come in two and I want four, you know, so I don't know. But I don't know, I have to check. Maybe we'll do like mac and cheese night today, you know? Oh, Risa, I'm sorry. Yeah, like we have leftovers. Sometimes I do that. We have leftovers that are good for me and my husband and the kids have mac and cheese. I know, it's terrible. Terrible. I'm trying to like also like get my love for cooking like I lost it completely here like I want to regain it and also like, go back to my roots a little bit and I'm thinking what did I eat in Argentina like what did I eat I love food there so in there I mean recipes here and food is delicious I'm not saying it's not but sometimes I'm like maybe I'll regain that by going back to my roots and like you know eating and, and sometimes our Argentinian food can be really simple like we have hot dogs without the bread like so like the link or yeah sausages and it's not sausage we call it salchichas but well the hot dog link with mashed potatoes and that is a classic there's even a song about it my mom used to make um hot dog links with marinara sauce and put it on top of smashed potatoes my husband loved it he always loved it or even on top of rice um, but those are things i can't have so i have to figure it out you know oh i'm so glad monica i know i thought that was funny oh monica has a huge family and um nieces and stuff like that so i know some of these goodies that are in the box she, she re-gifts them so 
<laughs> I'm excited for you. So yeah, that's what it is. You know, like sometimes I make carnitas tacos. They have these really yummy carnitas at Costco. Uh, sometimes I buy like chicken that is already kind of ready and with some, um, kind of to try to avoid the cooking because of the, you know, the air that goes up in the loft and that's where my husband has the computer too. Um, what else? And that's the thing that's part of the problem. Like I have, feel like I have a lot of stones in the way of everything. So it's like, I want to cook healthy, but then it's like he's sleeping up there and the smoke goes up there and then I have to clean everything because of this and that, you know? So, mm. Really? Where did you intern? Yeah, that's one of the things we're like, we were thinking like, do you do an internship and, you know, have experience or do you um, don't do an internship and start looking for work with no experience? So it's just that, you know, his parents are expecting him to be done. And then he says, oh, I want to take an internship. So it's going to take us three more months to be in and it's going to take time to find a job. And they're like, they might be like, no. So it's, you know, we'll cross that bridge when we get there, but I definitely would love for him to start making money so we can leave. Or me. I, if I start making money, that's fine too. <laughs> I don't put all of it on him, but he, he was even telling me, like, you should have studied this because you're a woman, you're Latina, they're pro you're probably going to get hired. And I'm like, I don't have the brain for that, you know, like, I don't think so. But look how cute this is. I bought these at only do an internship with the possibility but they don't always they don't guarantee they're gonna hire you but if you do an internship on amazon it's a good internship um you know or if you do an internship at google and google doesn't hire you is that a bad thing is that a bad sign like why didn't they hire you but maybe they have a lot of interns and they can't hire everyone but having experience at google is good good cute this is this is from lane and ali boutique i bought a couple of things to use for pictures and about another thing she's amazing she's exchanging something because i i bought it and i thought the color was different let me show you something else i have a couple of things she does gorgeous crochet work so if you're looking for cute things this is kind of like a mat she calls it a platter mat well that amazon one that was like eight thousand dollars a month if that's an internship, how much is he going to make a, a, like, please, you know, God, make it happen. <laughs> you know, 8000 is an internship and he makes, like, I don't know, more. We'll be set. We'll be okay, you know. I don't, I don't need to be rich, but I just want to be comfortable to at least rent. I mean, I would love to buy eventually um, just because rent goes nowhere. And I bought something else. But, oh, here. Um... Owning, owning a home is also a pain in the butt, <laughs> right? I mean, if you own, you can let me know. Like, if, some, if something breaks, you have to fix it. When you rent, the landlord usually pays for it. And this, um, this is kind of small. I thought it was a little bigger. And it's supposed to be like a little pouch where you can put pens, pencils. Uh, you might be able to stretch it a little bit for like a phone. Super cute. But I thought it was, it was like nice color for photos and props, you know, like to have some dimension. And then I ordered something like this, but way bigger in green. And it was kind of like a Christmas green. She called it Kelly green. And I thought it was more like an aqua green, more like teal turquoise. And it was like a green, like a leaf green. And I was like, oh, you know, like I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna use it. And she's like, just send it back and, um, and let me know what you want. And I thought maybe we could do like, cause she said like those took a long time to do. And, um, This taco, oh my gosh. So maybe you get two of these in two different colors and I think I'll use them more for pictures and a big one. It was a round, big one. What color do you think I should get? She has like an antique blush that is like a, like a blush and then she has like cream, ivory. I don't know, what colors, Noel? This is a periwinkle. What color of this should I get? More like neutrals? I don't know why I got the Kelly green one if this is turquoise I mean I could also I don't know if I think I can open this but I just wanted to like you know put things on top anyway anyway I'm rumbling Oy. what is a stucco I'm so bad I don't know what stucco is but anyway that's where we're at you guys <laughs> Jeez, I had to undo my button my pants were killing me 
Um, yes, Don Green. Yeah, okay. I'm going to get that. I'm going to maybe get two of those instead of that big one. She said it was easier for her to make. Uh, so I want to make it easier because she took it. Oh, the stack. Okay. <laughs> I thought like you were cooking something and <laughs> that you were like left in the, in, the, like, in the stove top and that's why it was ruined. Yes, I know. Well, that's the thing. Yeah, when owning, it's awesome. Like, I see it as a huge accomplishment. A lot of my friends own, own their house and they're like younger than me and which is sometimes it's like, um, I'm almost 40 and I don't own a home which is normal in Argentina, you know, in other countries. But but then you're also thinking, my parents are thinking about buying, and I'm like, just remember that you have property taxes, there's a ton of fees associated with buying, and then anything that breaks, you fix it. You have to pay for it. You need a new garbage disposal, you have to buy it. You need a new dishwasher, well, they don't have dishwasher in their apartment, but you have to buy it. When you live in an apartment and you rent, something breaks, they send, you know, they replace it. So that's something to keep in mind, you know? But um, you also feel like you put $2,000 or more um, into something that you don't keep, you know? So obviously buying is a better investment. We own our house for 10 years and it's no cake walk. I, yeah, I bet. So that's one of the things that sometimes like instead of comparing, I'm like, you know, um, <laughs> I'm like, I have, you know, it's the one thing. And then maybe if we buy our house when our kids are in high school or something, it might be a better time because then we're more established and we I have more time to, you know, like take care of the home that is mine, you know. So anyway, but I, like I said, I just don't want to be rich. I want to be comfortable. I just, yes, buying at the right time is also a good thing to think about. Like right now they're actually very high. So in that California. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Sandy, I know, I know. It's like one of those things. Like my parents bought this house in Argentina and it was nothing, it was $50,000. Um, they couldn't afford, when we moved from, we grew up in my grandparents' house, um, they had two houses. So when we had to, when they passed away, they had to sell it and divide it in four. And they couldn't afford a house in the same town. The, the town is, the houses in the town I grew up in are $1.5 million dollars they're mansions they're huge they're gorgeous also they're really classic um really beautiful they might be old old buildings they're not new but they're so beautiful and well done you know like when sometimes they say like they used to make the the tables better before they were sturdy where these houses i was looking at like because i don't know i was just worried i'm like let's see how much a house in devoto is it was 1.5 million but they have seven bedrooms you know it's not like a 1.5 billion house like my in-laws are buying, are selling their house. It has six bedrooms and it's 1.5. But some houses, um, they're like 1.5 and they have four rooms, three bedrooms sometimes. Wait, I'm missing something. One, one, and two, three. Oh yeah, one million here too. I know. Well, they're in, in California, but you know, like I see, I don't know in other states, but one time someone... I was mailing someone uh, something to someone in Cypress, Texas, and I was looking at their houses, and they were beautiful, like mansions with pools, and they were like three hundred thousand dollars. I'm like, I want to go to Cypress, Texas, but then what's there, right? Like you have to find a job, you have to, and also your whole community, your friends, and everything. Bye, Jesse. So anyway, yeah, like I'm open to going pretty much a lot of places in the U.S. I'm not like, oh, we have to stay in California, which it will be hard to leave for sure. I say that, and then I'm gonna be like, why? Um, maybe, you know, we'll buy when it's a good time. Maybe we'll buy one more over 55 and we'll buy a retirement. One of those, uh, cheap houses for retirement people is not that far off. You know, it's only like 15 years from now. <laughs> so that's what my parents are looking into. Um, that's crazy. Uh, well, rent here too, like in California, we were looking at, we were paying for a two bedroom apartment, $1,200, I think after five years it went up to 1370 and now a two-bedroom apartment is 2100 like yeah so we're looking at a house with my parents for three bedroom at least for all of us and it was 2900 the cheapest maybe 25 if it was a three-bedroom apartment so and they ask you do you have to have a good credit and they ask you to have make three times more or four times more it's crazy now dude they're very like strict so Anyway, 
yeah, I only want to have, you know, be comfortable to travel a little bit, to have be able to put my kids in some activities. I don't want to overburn them. I don't believe in having them always like I love sports and I think sports are super important, but I don't also want to be like you have to do this and this and then you know like crazy. Like I was reading an article about that like kids don't have to be in everything, you know. Um but yeah, like uh, to be able to pay for that or you know and maybe go little camping trips with my family and you know just that that's what i'm looking forward to so and live have our own place i don't care if it's home or not so yeah but anyway let's say goodbye guys because i also uh, i'm getting hungry and i had this with no food but i'm okay it's this has my husband was telling me he was like oh it's coca-cola company uh he's like so it's like what it's water and it's called spiked water you know it's gluten-free um uh, oh angel good job so what does it have i don't know purified carbonated water alcohol sugar natural flavor citric acid so yeah it's like flavor a little sugar a little alcohol so, mm. I'll let you go, guys. My arm is hurting. I should take a night with Promen. I love them. <laughs> Good night. My bag just cracked. Um, I don't think so. But it does sometimes, but I don't think it just did. Maybe it was my neck or my arm, my fingers. <laughs> Bye, guys. Okay, so next week we'll be here to... We do have a guest, I believe. I can't remember who it is. Um, but if not, I'll come by myself. It's okay. Oh, I'll ask Noel to co-host with me or someone. <laughs> so. Bye, guys. See you soon. Good night.